Hey, this is Seth with Electrek, and today we're going to take a look at two popular high-end home uh, level two charging uh, systems. One's the uh, Juice Box from uh, NL, um, which uh, was formerly E Motor Works and has been around for a bit. And then also ChargePoint uh, has their new Flex Charger, and that goes anywhere up to 50 or 48 amps. Um, so we'll take a look at these today, uh, kind of give you the differences. Um, and then compare them to like, uh, you know, we, we have down here my typical Tesla charger. Um, and back in the other side of the garage, we have a normal uh, level one charger that kind of comes with uh, a lot of EVs. We're gonna take, we're gonna take a look at the uh, finished product here. Be, uh, we're looking at the juice box charge point and a uh, Tesla adapter that comes with uh, most Teslas. Um, Big difference for me is on the, the juice box here, uh, you've got on the NEMA 1450 cable, you've got about, I would say three or f more uh, foot lead, so about a meter, and on charge point you've got a foot. Um, that's a big difference for me because my uh, plug, my NEMA 1450 plug, is kind of surrounded by other uh, stuff. so. I can't really mount the charge point on the wall with only a foot lead, but uh, the longer lead on the juice box allows me to um, mount that pretty nicely. Um, if you look at the two, let's let's do a quick look here. Not uh, too many differences in terms of features. Um, both have a light, so when this is plugged into a car, uh, there's a light in the background here. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the juice box has a light right here. Uh, different colors on each to, uh, you know, plugged in, uh, on, and charging. So those are, are pretty similar. Uh, Tesla also has a light uh, that uh, Tesla v uh, owners will know about. But um, so the cable difference is kind of interesting. I feel like the juice box uh, versus the charge point here, um, you're getting about the same thickness in terms of cable size, same about weight, but the juice box is a little bit um, firmer, whereas the uh, charge point is a little bit looser. So you can see how the uh, the juice box is kind of uh, more rigid, I guess. So that doesn't make a huge difference, but it's it's a lot easier, I would say, to for the charge point to uh, kind of unravel uh, when you're getting it out. Now, kind of the biggest difference, I would say, is the length of the cord. So the juice box comes with a 25 foot cable, the charge point comes with a 23 foot cable, and Tesla's is a, uh, I think, 18 foot cable that comes with the, the wall adapter or the one that you get with your vehicle. So that's kind of uh, the big difference for users. I like the longer cables. Um, obviously, every garage is different, every setup is different. If you have a, you know, a three foot cable, need you don't really need all this extra cable but it's nice if you have another car somebody's coming over for the night they need a charge it's kind of nice to not have to move cars around when you want to plug in another car um, one other thing noticeable about the juice box is it's got this little lock so uh, you can actually lock the let's see if we can see it here no it won't it won't show you but you can uh, lock the um, the uh, uh, cable so that um, nobody can use your uh, uh, charger without noticing. I mean, I'm mo I imagine most people are putting this inside their garage, so it's not going to be a big deal. But for some people who are outside, maybe in a more public place, that locks a nice thing. Yeah, uh, grips on the charge point and the. Uh... Uh, E-Motor Works juice box. Uh, first, uh, we'll take a look at the charge point. Um, it's a pretty standard handle, very uh, rugged, uh, feels really good in the hand. Um, it's got, you know, your typical stuff. Um, really good uh, build quality here. Um, and also, uh, this is the E-Motor Works and I just pulled it out of the uh, Chevrolet Bolt. Um, it's got a different kind of handle, different kind of, um, 
switch, you see this like long uh, lever kind of thing here versus the shorter one on the uh, charge point. Both work well for me. Um, putting in the uh, charge point here is also quite easy. Um, they did a really good job with the, uh, the handle mechanism there. Both clip in very easily. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it up, up for grabs here. Um, I kind of like the longer handle on this one, kind of lets you stay farther away from the, uh, the car and the longer uh, lever there is kind of nice, but it does feel a little cheaper, it's a little lighter. Um, it doesn't have any kind of padding on it, whereas the charge point down here, uh, very soft thumb uh, feel there, and it feels a little bit more rugged, like you could drop it a few more times. Um, it's a little heavier, uh, you got kind of like a gun grip here. So that is kind of nice. And so uh, we kind of have to pick a winner. And uh, the, it was very close. ChargePoint makes a fantastic product. A um, lot of good things, but when it all came down to it, I really just needed to be able to plug it in and there wasn't a lot of room uh, in my particular garage space. There's a lot of other pluses and minuses to the juice box versus the, in the ChargePoint. So just check out the, the full article for all that stuff. But uh, yes, juice box uh, did win, so we're gonna plug in and in case in case you Tesla owners are worried that it doesn't work with Tesla, it does quite well. Um, the one downside for uh, uh, Tesla's is you can't open the, there's no button here to uh, open the uh, port. But overall, you know, I have to give it to the juice box. Um, great product way improved design over over the last couple uh, iterations uh, the lock uh, here is nice so you don't have to worry about uh, locking it and um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, don't forget to subscribe to Electrek uh, like this video if it was informative and make sure uh, you come back for more thank you